Hey everyone! Today I'm going to do another craft hoard video. I decided to go through my jewelry stuff today. I think I want to make a stacked necklace. I've been seeing them all over the place and I think they look really pretty when they're like really dainty looking and I wanted one of my own and I have a bunch of jewelry materials so I figured I probably have enough stuff to make one. So yeah, let's go see what I can find. Okay, let's see. Here's my messy, unorganized jewelry supplies. I want to make a stacked necklace, so I need chain. Mm, I want to make it like dainty, so I need better chain than that. Ah, here we go. So it's gold, so I'm going to, I guess, pull out all of the gold little things that I have in here and then I'll see what I can make from them. Right away I have these beads, uh, I have this which is just like a bunch of jewelry findings and stuff, it has some gold pieces so I'll use that. Um, use these jump rings. Uh, gigantic jump rings. I don't really know if I can do anything with these, but I'll take them out anyway. I really need to organize this stuff. That might be it. Uh, I might look through these some more after I put my phone down just because it's easier. Uh, to do it with two hands, so yeah. I gathered a bunch of gold colored jewelry stuff. Some thin chain, jump rings, a lobster clasp, and three beads. This long one was actually an off cut from the brass tubing from the desk organizer DIY that I did a few weeks ago. I just stuck a wire through and looped it on each side to make it into a bead. I also decided to go with a small circle bead and a pointy pendant type bead. I cut the chain into three pieces, one 14 inch long piece, one 16 inch long piece, and one 20 inch long piece. The chain is so thin that you can't really see it on this green background, so I threw one of my sketchbooks up here so hopefully it's easier to see now. Anyway, I laid the chains out like so and started trying to decide which beads I wanted where. I definitely wanted the pendant-like bead on the bottom chain, but I kept changing my mind with the other two. Finally, I decided to go with this. So with these two beads, I just threaded them onto the chain, but for the long piece, I needed to remove a small section of the chain to make up for the length of the bead, and also for the length of the lobster clasp. Really, I should have removed the lobster clasp length on all of the chain, but I kind of forgot to do that for the other two pieces. I put the long bead and the lobster clasp at the end of the chain and snipped that much chain off. And then I cut this short chain in half and attached the long bead in the middle. Then I attached one end of each chain to a jump ring, and then the other end of the chains to the lobster clasp and then the necklace was done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how this turned out. If you did like this video, then Hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe i do art videos every tuesday and diy videos every thursday you can follow me on twitter tumblr instagram pinterest and snapchat and i'll leave the information to all of those down below thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video if you are interested in becoming a patron or just learning about what patreon is i'll leave a link up here and you can go check mine out if you are interested in buying art prints or anything like that i also have an inktober book you can go check out my store, there'll be a link to that down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, 
please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.